Good morning everyone, this is Angelo Zitis from IronFX bringing you the morning comment for the 1st of March. There seem to be Mexican concerns about steel tariffs. Media suggested yesterday that Mexican officials expressed concerns about US intentions to impose tariffs on steel. The main concern stems from Mexico being a major importer of steel and possible tariffs could lead to a rise on steel prices. On the bright side, it could be the case that a progress, albeit slow, has been made on the origin issue in the NAFTA negotiations. Canadian officials also confirmed that some advances have been made by mentioning a reasonably good progress. Should there be further positive headlines about the NAFTA negotiations, the US dollar, the Canadian dollar and the Mexican peso could rise. USD CAD continued to rise yesterday, breaking the 1.28 resistance line now turn to support. We see the case for the pair to stabilize and continue to trade in a sideways manner in the next couple of days, albeit some bullish tones may continue to exist along with some downward corrections. Fundamentally, headlines about the NAFTA negotiations, the ISM manufacturing PMI release, Jerome's Powell testimony before the Senate's banking committee and Canada's GDP release tomorrow may influence the pair's direction. On the technical side, we see a rather strong resistance level at 1.2910, which was tested a number of times in the past six months and had not been broken yet, setting a barrier for the pair. Also, an upward trend line incepted since the 2nd of February supports the argument, as well as the crossing of the 100 moving average over the 200 moving average on the 21st of February, may be signaling a rising of the pair's prices. On the other hand, the strong reading of the RSI above 70 may imply a possibly overcrowded long position. Should the pair find fresh buying orders, we can see it breaking the 1.2910 resistance line. On the other hand, should the pair come under selling interest, we can see it breaking the 1.28 support level and aim for the 1.2610 support hurdle. In other news, Theresa May rejects the EU draft deal. Theresa May rejected in a quite strong language the EU Brexit draft deal yesterday. Disagreements seem to concentrate on the Irish borders puzzle as well as the customs union issue currently. Phrases like no UK prime minister could ever agree to it and we will never do so underscored her determination. Political analysts are pointing out that hard Brexit probabilities just rose. Most probably, the UK political stage will be put to test as Theresa May may be forced to choose clearly sides sooner than later. Any choice made could bear considerable risks and political costs for the Prime Minister. The pound reacted negatively to the news and any further negative Brexit headlines could continue to weaken the pound. Cable dropped yesterday breaking the 1.3850 support line, now turned to resistance, as well as the upward trend line incepted since the 13th of January. We could see cable trading in a bearish mood in the next few days. The fundamentals behind the pair could weaken the pound, as negative Brexit headlines may continue to appear, and Powell's testimony before the Senate could support the US dollar. Should the bears have the upper hand, we could see the pair continue to drive south, breaking the 1.3750 support line and aiming for the 1.3615 support zone. On the other hand, should the bulls take the reins, we could see the pair breaking the 1.3850 resistance line. As for today's other economic highlights, in the European session, from the UK, we get the nationwide house price index for February. From France, Germany and the Eurozone, we get the final manufacturing PMIs for February. From the UK, the manufacturing PMI also for February, and from the Eurozone, the unemployment rate for January. In the, in the North American session, we get the US core PCE prices for January and the US ISM manufacturing PMI for February. As for speakers, Riksbank's Banks Governor Ingves and FOMC member William Dudley speak. Also, not, also note that Jerome Powell, Fed Governor, is to deliver his testimony before the Senate. For more information, Please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. 
Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Angelo Zittis from IronFX, wishing you solid trading.